Hello everyone, my name is Chad and welcome back uh, to another episode of Operation Interrogation. Today I have with me uh, Dr. Blue with two O's, not not the color, it's completely yeah. different. Don't get it twisted. Uh, how you doing today? You need to locate the biohazard container. I'm good man, I'm doing good, excited to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have you on too, I'm actually very excited that you're here. Um, uh, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I know you've seen a few of my... Of, uh, of these and uh, I'm glad that mm -hmm. you found it interesting enough uh, to be worth you know coming on so I'm actually very excited to have you here um, so yeah my it first, looks really interesting so my first question where did you get your name from where, what, what inspired uh, Doc, Doc Blue or Dr. Blue so um, it, it wasn't always blue with two rows it actually used to be the color um, but it's it's since changed. Uh, it was originally because I wanted to be like a doctor. Like I was in university, I was gonna like I was gonna go for my PhD. I was gonna totally be a doctor. It was gonna be cool. And then I finished my first year. I was like, no, fuck this. This shit's awful. I ain't doing three more years of this. Yeah. So uh, I had enough of that. I um, I can't imagine. I got my degree. Would you get your degree? Yeah. In? It was fucking. Uh, I got my degree in computing. computing. But I was originally doing criminology. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. I yeah. actually really like that. I, I, I skipped college Set completely. Fact, Jesus Christ. This is very hard to do. It's, uh, yeah, it's shit, fucking phone. tough. My phone locked itself. No epic. Um. So, uh, when did you get started making YouTube videos? What was one of the uh, things that... Uh, like, what was one of your first videos like? Um. Well, I got started just three days before my 18th birthday. Um, because I kind of always wanted to do videos, like, as a kid, like, in my school, that was a popular thing to do, like, we all wanted to be YouTubers, because it was so cool, um, and no one actually ever did it, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be that dude, I keep blowing stuff up, it's my house, don't wreck my house, I'll do what I want in um, your house, yeah, everyone, <laughs> oh, no, you won't, no, oh. no, this is embarrassing, <laughs> oh. okay, that's slightly embarrassing, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Ignore that name. <laughs> yeah, my my sensitivity. I, I just got off work maybe an hour ago, and so like I'm a little discombobulated. Um, who's your favorite YouTuber right now? What is something? What is somebody that you you find yourself watching most of the time? Um, oof. Uh, I don't actually watch like I used to watch like loads of people. Um. But, like, I, I was subscribed to, like, 40 channels. I used to watch, like, all of their videos every day um, when I woke up. But it took, like, two hours or sometimes three or four hours of my time. So I'm like, this is not right. Then I shortened it down. And I still was like, I've got, I got, I'm too busy. I can't be spending all this time watching these people. But, so I don't really watch anyone anymore. But if I had to choose, um, God, I don't, I don't even know. Um... Maybe Angry Joe, I guess. I don't know. I haven't watched anyone in a long time, but he's like the one that comes to mind when I think favorite YouTuber um, because he inspired a lot, a lot of what I want to do. Um, so, like, my stuff is sort sort of based on his, but not entirely. Um, but like, he he kind of like inspired a lot of my content. Awesome. Okay. I I don't know who Angry Joe is, seconds. but it. If your content is inspired by his, I like your content, so I imagine he's Five got seconds. some pretty decent stuff as well. Um, what's your favorite word of all time? Uh, Just what's your favorite word? Mm. Uh, the thing is, I like to make up my own words, like, uh, you know, discuss or sesh or a got a quick quesh for you. So, I don't know, any of my made up ones, I suppose. It sounds like you make up words, or the way that you make up words is yeah. adding ES or uh, ESH <laughs> on the end of them and then calling it a new word. <laughs> uh, is, is that true? Maybe. Can you can you con can you confirm that or deny that? I'm uh, I'm actually under an NDA, so I can't <laughs> confirm or deny that. <laughs> uh, what's something that nobody agrees with you on? Something that you're like, this is how it is. This is the only way that it is, uh, and everyone's like, no, it's not. Oh, uh, tomato sauce, uh, like ketchup. I have ketchup on absolutely everything I eat. Like, oh. I'm I'm talking Sunday dinner. I'm talking like. Rice pudding sometimes. That was that was a brave one. Uh, fucking everything. Pizza as well. It's always on pizza. Just fucking everything. 
Um, and everyone's like, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's disgusting. Come again. Ketchup's like, no, actually it's nasty. tasty and shit. No, I, I'm gonna have to no, disagree with you on that one. No, it's lovely. I have to disagree I guess with you. It suits the question. Uh, that that shit. That's I. I'm gonna. Ha I'm gonna have to do, disagree with you on that. One. Okay, I know you. Uh, I really don't. Oh no. No way. No. 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 That's not gonna work. That's a cool. Oh, 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 no, 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 um, <laughs> some... uh, okay, uh, when was the last time you masturbated and how was it? Was it, was it good? Was it, was it, all right? um, was it one of those? It was yesterday. It was, was pretty it... average. Um, I don't know. It's... Would you say it was one know. of those was, that you were like, right. where you're like, um, I really don't want to, but like, fuck, something's to gotta to give and then you just, you know, <laughs> you know? I, I, <laughs> no, it wasn't one of those. Like I, I, I was. It was yesterday, but then I considered doing it a second time. But then I was like, "What well, I really want to do this again?" I'm like, "I'm too tired. I really want to go to sleep." It's like I'm, I'm going in a fucking old man now. <laughs> I was like, "You know what? No, I'm too tired. I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. I just want to watch Netflix. Ne watch Netflix and pass the fuck out." Um. Yeah, pretty much with dick in hand. Hell yeah, glued. Semen gluing your hand to your penis, and an yeah, iron just fall grip. asleep like that. Exactly. Over the bed, and someone <laughs> will find you and wakes you up. Uh, and what are you doing? Ten seconds before insertion. Uh, excuse me. Uh, is your is that your penis? Is it? Why is your insertion penis out? Five seconds. Is, it, is that glue? <laughs> why is it in your hand? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get it out. I can't. God, look away. <laughs> Uh, is there something that makes you irrationally angry? Something that you hear it and you just get you just get that burning hot red sensation in your in your body that makes you want to murder? No. Um. Oof. I I don't know if I feel that any passionate about like one particular thing. There's a subject though, which is the the lewd cosplayers and their patreons. Like it's it's kind of almost. Uh, it's it's quite tough to fucking talk about that because oh shit. because everyone's like oh they're okay and then people I don't know it's like oh, it's almost like illegal to have a wrong opinion and I fucking hate that. I had the sh oh, I had the shot um so co uh, uh lewd cosplay not just regular cosplay. Well, regular cosplay is cool because you know they actually put fucking effort into it, but a lot of the time where they just say I'm a character but I have tits now. That, oh, that flows. Shit. I don't like that. Yeah, I feel like when you put low effort into cosplay, it just becomes, "Hi, I'm gonna wear a bikini and shit," and you're gonna you're gonna like the picture yeah. whether, regardless if it looks good or not. Um. So, how do you go? How do you approach your reviews? How do you um, when you when you look at a game and you're like, "Okay, this is what I'm gonna do." What, what is your process when it comes to creating, uh, almost? Like the scoring system for your videos, in in a sense. Um. So it's like it, it's changed over the years. Uh, it used to be that like I would did a whole script for it. Um. And, but it used to make the reviews take ages. I don't do that anymore because container. frankly I can't be asked. Um. <laughs> but like I don't know. It it depends like on a lot of things. Like some people like do it by category. Like they'll go through every element of the game. And I've done that once, but the review ended up being two hours long. I was like, this is not practical. Um. But I don't know, it like depends like on how many bugs I find or how many like mechanics or cool features are wrong with the game. Like if, if there's a core feature that's wrong with the game, like say the crime system in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's all, already automatically not a 10 because there's there's like a massive part of the game that's not really been perfected. Um, if I find like a few bugs or something, uh, that's fine. I'll, so the game can still drive. fucking bug. Speaking of fucking little bugs. Um, yeah, if if the game's like got a few bugs, then that's fine because every game has bugs, and you know it can still get a ten. But if it's like 
if there's a massive thing wrong with it that they haven't fixed, then it's like, mm, or if like the game is like really empty upon release. So I don't know. It depends like on a lot. There's no set way to kind of approach it, I suppose. Do you um, approach you games just, with an uh, unbiased sense in the in the sense of like? If you're not going in and going, this game's going to be garbage, do you try and go in with a clean slate and and just review it honestly, or do you you know, do you come in with a bias a bias? Absolutely. I do try and be as unbiased as I can. Sometimes I do have preconceptions about a game, like I don't know, like uh, Quantum Break when I review this how is there a bug up there too? Um, uh, I'm a genius. You know, sometimes I'll have like preconceptions about game like quantum break like that one i know i was probably a bit biased going into there um but like i don't know i try to remain unbiased because uh, usually if you have biases going into a game you um it affects the review score and sometimes i play like sometimes you can miss things that you otherwise like wouldn't if you weren't biased so like if i'm saying ah oh, i really hate this game this game sucks um, you, you you see some reviews um, online before you do your thing, and you just and you kind of like, oh, well, I don't want to play it anymore. No, actually, um, no, I, I tend to actually avoid looking at other reviews because they can bias what I think as well. Um, so I would always kind of avoid. <laughs> Fuck, where was you? Are they? I, I was. <laughs> no, I avoid watching reviews because they'll taint my review of the game. Um, and that's a shame because I used to watch Angry Joe all the time and I can't now because he does reviews and I do reviews so I'm like, yeah. I can't watch this because it's going to taint my my review. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you find it harder uh, or easier to do be in the YouTube space in the UK? Do, do you find that affects uh, YouTube in any way at all? Yeah, for sure. Um, it is, I think, harder to be, at least in my position, harder to be, uh, fuck, I didn't mean to be Pauls. Uh, harder to be a YouTuber in the UK in my position because I collaborate with a lot of Americans. Um, I, if, I think is I could collaborate with more UK YouTubers, um, but a lot of them, like, I've tried to before, but some, some of them are just a bit sketchy and some of them are a bit like, eh, like, I, I don't, really like a lot of them to be honest like a lot of it seems uh from what um, i understand from uk youtube culture it seems a lot of i, I get i don't want to call it clout chasing but more just like um what's the word what am i looking for it's almost like vlogs and being outrageous is kind of the content that i've that's been put put forth from things that i've seen on the internet uh, do you find that to be also an issue that have you come across in the YouTube space in um, the UK? I wouldn't. Five seconds before no, I wouldn't say that it's like clout chasing. Um, although there, obviously there is some of that, but I don't know. Like some, unknown. some are just like kind of obnoxious, or some are like just unfunny a lot of the time as well. Um, I find that most of the Americans I collaborate with at least have like a decent sense of humor. I don't know, maybe I just vibe more with Americans, and don't get me wrong, there's some British people that I've run into that are, you know, some of my best friends. Mm -hmm. um, I do have some of those. Um, and it, so friends? I guess it's, it's harder to be a UK... Yeah, like, I guess it's harder to be a UK YouTuber in the American space. If I was in the UK, like, kind of circles, it would be much easier on myself, but I don't think the content would be as good. I'm gl that makes that makes me a lot uh, makes me happy that you're willing to uh, sacrifice the, the the how easy it would be for your content you know keeping it solid and not trying to create some dog shit that might get you popular super quickly that that's actually that, that's that's really nice to hear um, let me find another question. Is there any? Do you have any projects that you're working on as of right now that you're really excited to, about that you can share with us? Um, well, I don't know if you've seen it, but um, there was Doctor Blue's car shows or Doctor Blue's car reviews season one um, that went out. Uh, I think it was last year. Um, I was gonna get working on that some point this year, but I've been so busy with the reviews. But come the new year, I am gonna be working on season two, so I'm really hyped about that. I'm really excited to work on that. Um, other than that, I'm always up to kind of something. Uh, a lot of my content is either reviews or like other stuff, but sometimes I'll just do these one-off videos that are um, like just weird projects. I have like weird project ideas all the time. Um, so I'll probably work on something at any given time. Fuck. Like getting shot. That's one of my favorite things to do. 
Um, so when, when in the community that we're both a part of, I find that your reviews are highly respected by our like by the peers, your peers. Why do you why do you think that um you know they respect they put so much respect on your reviews for video games? Oh no! <laughs> eliminated. And that's that I, I I realize now that may have sounded like a diss, but I actually I, I would like. You know, I'm not sure how old you are. You seem on the younger side of the scale. I know you're what? How old? No, <laughs> I'm older than you. How old are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm 22. Are you really 22? I'm 22, yeah. I feel like a dunce. <laughs> I'm I'm only nah, 20 good, years but, um... old. I, it's probably the the uh, the tea drinking voice. It's just kidding. American humor. Am I right? It's funny because. Being racist in America is hilarious. Secure the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Uh, oh, I do. Oh, no. Doc? Sorry. I had to take the mic out because it was fucking me off. All right, it's back in. Hello. Um, yeah, no, I've heard the, the British YouTuber joke about a million times, as you can imagine. <laughs> um, but no, it, <laughs> it's cool. Um, no, it's, it's okay because uh, I use it ironically. I, I think. Yeah, it's all it's all good. I, I, like, if I was annoyed about it, I would have left the community a long time ago. So it's it's cool. I'm, I'm you know, I chill about it. Um, no, but yeah, uh, the reviews. Like, I guess um, because the thing is, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not under any illusion that my content is the best. You know, it's not. It's really not. Um, you know, I, I try and like, I try and never be kind of. Unhumble, I guess, or prideful, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Like, Protect I want to be proud of my stuff, of course, but like, I don't want to be in a position where I'm bragging about shit. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, I you don't know, know your like, worth. Um, would, would you say that you know your worth in the in the space? And yeah, and I that... think. Yeah. Sorry, go on. No, uh, you go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, um, I think people they respect the reviews. Um, like they do because they know how much work goes into them um like especially like you know how long they are um some of them like how in depth they are how they talk about kind of absolutely every single thing um and i'm quite happy with that because you know i i run in a few different circles of friends and pretty much everyone in every circle seems to respect my views um and I'm, I'm really happy with that um, but yeah, I think because they just know how much work goes into them and how hard I work and how hard I work to try and keep the uploads on a weekly uh, basis. Um, obviously, I think the content is decent to some extent, so I think people do enjoy it. But I think mostly people respect the, the work ethic that I have uh, and the fact that I kind of never want to let my audience down. I want to try and keep those uh, uploads weekly um, all the time, you know? Yeah. Oh, I think they respect the work ethic. Yeah. I, I honestly... Uh, I was gonna ask you. My next question is, um, yeah, how how long do you t how long does a blue review usually take to create for you? Is is it like several months, a month, several weeks? So it can depend on the size of the game. Um, for a game like Dead Alliance, which was really short, that only took me forty minutes to play through fully, it can take about a day. Um, something like Borderlands 3, though, can take definitely weeks or a couple of months. Um, and it also depends what PC issues I'm having at the time, because I'm usually having some sort of technical issue. <laughs> like, at the moment, uh, my PC is a bit fucked, and I'm trying to work on this Gears review, and I've been working on the Gears review for a fucking couple of months. Um, so, yeah, it can depend. Um, but usually, I try and keep it within maybe two to three weeks. Um, so, sometimes I try and avoid bigger games. Like, I would never go back and try and retroactively review The Witcher, for instance, because that's right. just too big of a game, even though I love it and it would probably get a perfect score from me. Um, but it's, it's, it's just too big for me to review. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Like, and especially considering that The Witcher came out a few years ago. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't say that it would be worth a review in the current climate and every how how old it is. Like it's yeah. a great game. It's it just right now I wouldn't pull the necessary I guess views and everything like that. Um, yeah, I totally agree. What's something that you would like to learn? Something that uh, you've seen and like that's pretty cool. It'd be awesome if I could learn how to do that. 
Yeah, so I, I know the past couple of guys have said this, because I, I watched you, uh, the previous two ones, but um, drawing, like being an artist, uh, would be really cool. Um, being able to draw my own thumbnails, or just being like talented. Like If I want to bring a creation or character to life, because I'm always thinking of like... I eventually one one day I want to make my own game and like have yeah. like a whole universe like The Witcher and just have like loads of these awesome creatures and stuff. Um, but I can I don't have the 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 you know the design talent to bring them to life. Um, but I would love to be able to do that. Um, and then also like being super good at video games like esport pro level to the point where you can like make money and stuff like I don't, I don't know like Bugger he's really good and he's so young as well. Um, Bolo and, like, and... Bo yeah, Bolo like, is a face dubs and shit. Bo Bolo is a... He's, he's, I don't remember what clan he's a part of, but he's part of an esports siege clan. And, then, and that's... Yeah. Um, I, I feel you with the, uh, the, the drawing skills. I, I spend days upon days just... Think, oh Jesus Christ! Just get the shit out of me. I'll, I'll <laughs> when I'm working, I'll talk to myself in a, in different voices and have a like a whole conversation in a world that I've created. And art used to come naturally to me, but then I got old and hated myself more than anything on the planet. And so now I don't know how to draw anymore. Um, but I, hey, I, I'm not I, sad, man. You should pick that back up. I, I'm I, I'm thinking about it. I've been learning. To, I, I'm broke at the moment just because of the way that the United States is. I'm sure you're aware and have heard about how awful yeah. it is here. But um, life, yeah, yeah. Um, what were some of your uh, early inspirations for YouTube? Some like when you were when you were younger and just starting started entering the like watching YouTube videos and stuff. Do you have anybody that you would really look up um, to? Uh, who was like, yeah, I want to do sure. that one day. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Uh, I definitely watched, like, especially when I was younger, I was a lot more naive, and I kind of had some YouTubers as kind of role models. I don't really have role models anymore because I kind of realized that everyone has some sort of flaw, um, right. which kind of is okay, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should like, change my attitude on that because you know everyone has flaws but you still have role models i don't know um but yeah i used to watch a lot of pewdiepie for sure mm -hmm. um i was a big a big fan of pewdiepie back uh, way back when um 10 seconds. but also um ray william johnson actually when i was little i used to love his seconds. show equals three don't know where he is now i don't know why he would have I... been 10 Biohazard million sub channel but hey Find he's, the Biohazard going, container. he's doing but something definitely now. those two i used to watch a, a buttload now, did you watch any Minecraft videos? Because both of my last guests, I believe, were super into Minecraft. No, I'm actually not really a Minecraft fan. Um, I'm not, like, uh, super into Minecraft, like most people. I sometimes play it when I'm trying to... Oh, you motherfucker. I'm so... I sometimes play it when I'm trying to... Uh... Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Wallbang, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I awesome. sometimes play it, but I'm not like a massive fan of Minecraft because, like, I don't, I don't know, I, I used to just find it boring, um, but now I'm kind of warming up to it again, but, um, no, no, I didn't re really watch any Minecraft videos, no Minecraft parodies, no Minecraft story arcs or whatever, uh, I wasn't interested. Well, yeah, when I, was, uh, when I was a wee lad and naive, I thought Minecraft was the shit, and then, um, they all turned out to be pedophiles, so I was kind of... Like, well, well. Yeah, there's that too. There was a chance that they could have touched me. Oh well. Um, why do you think the U.S. won the Revolutionary War? Is do you think it's? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was our weakness for tea. The I, they we knew that we liked tea, container. and they were like, we're gonna dump this shit in the harbor, and we were like, shit. You know what? That that's it. Game over. We surrender. No more. Don't hurt the tea anymore. We please, need it. please stop. We need it for our system. That was a, that was please, a, yeah, we need those tea bags, yo. That was like, very expensive. What did yeah, you... the plantation work. The plantation worked really uh, hard for that. Come on, man, what are you doing this? Oh, oh, this is one of my favorite questions to ask. Uh, what's a guilty pleasure that you have? Something that uh, it's not embarrassing. I wouldn't say that you wouldn't tell anybody about. But like it's almost a little embarrassing, you know what I mean? You feel guilty when you when you enjoy it. 
Um, yeah, seconds. yeah, I get, I have one of those. Spending V bucks on Fortnite um, because I know I shouldn't. Yeah, exactly. That's that's yeah. That's, that's, it's that's, bit, yeah, it's a bit cringe. But it is a bit cringe, and it's a perfect guilty pleasure because I fucking I love doing it, but I hate myself every time I. It's, it's like. When one of those guys, uh, or one of those players, like, he, he sleeps with a woman when he's drunk, and then he's like, oh, I've got a wife. He's like, oh, it was great last night, but oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm married and everything. Yeah, it's kind of like that, um, except I don't sleep with four night. But, yeah. Uh, no, it's like, um, like I I love the skins they come out with on there. They're so awesome, some of the designs. Um, and I do have, like, this alternate mode, Save the World, which lets you kind of earn V-Bucks, but it takes so long, I think they've done that on purpose. Um, and I'm just like, you know, fuck it, I really need this, I know it's going to rotate out, I'm just going to buy it. So, yeah, spending V-Bucks on Fortnite is one of my guilty pleasures. Wow. Doc, I'm, I don't know what to say about that I'm not one. proud of it. I wouldn't be either. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Um, it makes me sound like a Fortnite fanboy as well, but I'm, I'm really not. I just I, I enjoy the game, and we play a lot, a lot prop on it as well, and I make maps on it, which is really cool. Um, so, how did you how did you find uh, the group that you were in? Was it did you get into a rut? Was it was it one of those things where you're like, I, I feel like I could do a lot with a group, or was it more of like, let's just see where this takes me? Were you were you feeling were you? Sh it, well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you how it happened, actually, um, because it wasn't any one thing just like I needed a group or, you know, I'm just going to go out and get a group. It wasn't that at all. Uh, it was uh, that I wanted to, uh... oh, I wanted to shoot your ass. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> now, um, yeah, it wasn't any one thing. It was that I, uh, I, 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 I you know, every so often I would look for collaboration partners because everyone would give up eliminated. all the time on... YouTube, like a lot of people, they, they do it for a week, they give up. I'm ran into a lot of those people. Um, yeah, I found that and, to be an issue. You know, I've still well. got like people. Yeah, people happens like, well, all the time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oops, uh, sorry, go on. Oh no. I think, I think I fucked up. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? There Hello? we go. I accidentally unplugged my microphone <laughs> because I'm a professional. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, but I found it to be like, oh, I haven't got a million subs like I thought I would. I guess I gotta quit. And, yeah, and, and it's it's a little frustrating, 100%. especially. <laughs> it is very frustrating. Um, yeah, so that happened a lot to we people to I collaborated with, um, and so you know, every so often I would go looking for people on this website called YT Talk. It's pretty dead nowadays, and there's a lot of trash on it, um, but. You know, every so often I would find this one person. Like I found so rapturous on there first, um, and then one day I found SYT on there for uh, SYT on there, and then he introduced me to Kogan, which you know was one of his friends in real life. Uh, and then eventually I met Jordan, and I joined his server, and then I brought everyone else that I'd met into that server, and everyone met each other. So it was like it was a bunch of people that basically just did good content that I wanted to collaborate with that also didn't give up so it wasn't like any one thing the group just eventually uh, came together and now we've got definitely a solid group of me remaining. Patrick Rap and Hest um, and Jordan whenever he, he wants to do it and then there's obviously the server that we're all in as well uh, um, when people want to uh, when people want to you know uh, respond and talk and stuff but we always kind of keep regularly active so it was it was a gradual process a very gradual process it seems like you, when it comes to the group anyway, it seems like everybody's super inclusive. Uh, do you think that's part of wanting to watch other th uh, other people grow on YouTube? Or uh, is it more of a, you know, you, you're trying to make, I guess, more friends, I guess, in a sense? You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, it's less become about, like, subs and stuff, because obviously a lot of people, they make... They make strategic friends in order to grow themselves and yeah. stuff. Um, it's not really about that for us, or it, it, like it doesn't even need to be because Hest has like quite a lot of subs. I have a fair amount. Um, Patrick has a fair amount. Raps a little bit on the low side, but we're gonna try and change that. It's less about like subs for any of us. It's more about um, making friends at this point and just like making us the best quality content that we can. Um, and so we try and be super inclusive because everyone's got like a new personality and new jokes to add and it keeps it fresh. Like you know, it, I, I don't like. I'm not to play the same game. 
definitely keep it fresh because I want like new content to hit people's faces, you know. Uh, um, so we're trying to keep it just, you know, at the end of the day, we're all the YouTubers, we're all on the same platform. Um, you know, there's no need to be mean to each other, especially like at this level because a lot of people are mean to each other. It's quite um, <clears throat> spiteful actually. I've run into it uh, only a couple of times, thankfully, but it's really horrible when it happens. Um, so we're trying to be super inclusive. Um, to make everyone feel nice, basically, and give everyone content and let everyone grow their channels. Um, I don't know, just just to be nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to. Um, no, I, I think that's know, not, a great. Not, not that you're asking me to, but I've, yeah, I don't feel like I need to excuse it. You know what I mean? No, I th I think it's great. I mean, I've been on there. I've been in the server for a little bit, and I've realized that you know every, you know, you guys are super inclusive with everyone that comes through there. You know, you're always super supportive, and I, I think that's one of the best best things about your community um all clap me you straight up clap me you smack me around you're, like a, you're, like a... you're gonna be even more mad you're gonna be even more <laughs> mad somehow i landed that oh my that's on that's i don't even know how oh wow i'm a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie to you i'm a little salt about that <laughs> well um <laughs> thank you so much for coming on man i really do appreciate it um plug your stuff yeah this sure. was really fun yeah, um, so you can find me hopefully in the description. Um, yeah, of course. No, uh, Dots of Blue um, on YouTube as well. It's there in my game attack. It's spelled exactly like that. Um, I've also got a Twitter, Facebook. Um, it's all linked on the YouTube page. Um, but yeah, you can find me there. All right, thanks so much for coming on, man. Uh, and thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want to see more from me, uh, subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments below who you want to see next. Um, and uh yeah find me on twitch i stream frequently and uh yeah i will see you guys i will see you later <laughs>